All right, today we're talking about exponential models. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with this problem right here. So in this, it's another population problem. In 2015, the population was 8,000. So that's our starting number, 8,000. And it says it's increasing, so it's a growth model. So we're gonna use the growth equation, which is A1 plus R to the T. So that's the one we're gonna use. So A is our starting amount. Then we're gonna go one plus 0 0.025, because we gotta rewrite percentages into decimals. And it says rewrite it to find the monthly growth rate. Hmm. So this one is for years. So how do we write it for a month? Well, if this is per year, and you have basically, if this counts as the rate for a year, so we got to spread it over each month. So there's 12 months. So we divide that by 12, but the time is also divided by 12. And what this is called, this is actually called the compound, compounded interest. And so that's basically the model that we're going to use. And this is the one used in credit cards, banks, everything. And so this is the idea. You just divide this. It's just the growth rate formula divided by whatever number we decide. So here's the compound interest formula. So this is your principal or your starting amount, whatever you want to call it. R is your rate, interest rate typically. T is time. And N is the number of compounds. So, um, yeah, number of compounding. So it could be monthly, yearly, daily, whatever, whatever it may be. Okay. So let's take this for example. Okay. It says Tamara invests. $5,000 in an account that pays 4% annual interest. How much will she accumulate after three years if it was compound annually, semi-annually, quarterly, or monthly? So let's go ahead and make a table real quick. So we'll start with annually, which that means the N is one. So if we plug that in the formula, we get 5,000. One plus 0 0.04 divided by one, and then three times one. If you plug this in a calculator, you get $5,624.32, which is pretty good. So what about semi-annually? Semi-annually means half. So that means twice or half a year. That means it's gonna happen twice a year. So every half year, every six months, you're gonna get that. So 5,000. 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 2, 3 times 2. Plug that in, you get 5630.81. And if we now we do it by quarters, which is how they run the fiscal calendar, how many quarters are in a year? Well, there's four. So 5,000, 1 plus 0 0.04, or 4, 3 times 4. If we do that, we should get more, 56, 34.13. And last one is monthly. This is the one you guys will deal with in your life. There are 12 months in a year. So 5,000, one plus 0 0.04 divided by 12, and then three times 12. That we get 5636.36. Now, if you notice, as we compound more and more, the distance between the numbers gets less and less. So like if you notice between this, you get six extra bucks, here you get four extra bucks, here you get two. So you could imagine the more you compound, the less of a big increase decrease you get. But it is quite a bit from yearly to monthly. So monthly is actually pretty good, depending if you're saving or spending. Go ahead and try this problem. Try this problem. Try this problem. So the question is, what if we 
compound infinitely. So we let n go to infinity. That is where we get this formula, which is called a continuously compound interest formula. So once again, this is our principle. This is our rate. This is our time. Now what E is, E is actually a number, and it's on every single calculator. And so basically, if you take a look at any calculator, it's going to be above the LN button, which is right there, because E and LN are connected. So you just type it in the calculator that way. So to do this problem, we first got to identify what's what. So it says Regina invests this much, so that's her principal. This is our rate, so our rate is 0 0.032. And we're gonna compound continuously, so we're gonna use E. And then after 12 years, so that's our T. So remember the formula is P uh, E to the RT. So we plug that in, so 12, six, E to the 0 0.032 times 12. So if you type that in a calculator, you get 18498.63. Right around there, rounded. Go ahead and try this problem. Try this problem. 